All right, April 1st. It's gonna be my fourth day in a row going after the elusive wild turkey. Um, I've been getting my butt kicked, but um, I hope for today I'm gonna be sitting till around noon regardless, so. Could be about 30 minutes to uh, till I get to that spot, <clears throat> and then um, get set up real quick and just uh, get ready to get going. My allergies are kicking my butt, but you know what? It's you gotta take advantage of these days that you have off. I'm gonna be off. I'm gonna be working for the next five, so gotta take advantage of this whenever I get it. So stay tuned. So, just pulling up to the property. I'm gonna be hunting this evening. I got two hours of legal hunting left for the day. Uh, I got work for the next six days, so I'm trying to take advantage of this opportunity. Um, luckily, this uh, property is close to home. It's 300 acres, it's a vineyard, but it has uh, a few hedgerows um, in the middle portion of the property where these uh, turkey have been being held up. So. We'll see how it goes, and uh, hopefully they appear, but we'll find out.
birds have been um, hanging out on this portion of the farm. I try to uh, position the blind where I can see to my right, which is towards the, uh, the creek. Got it all positioned, got everything set up. Told myself, you know what, I'll just sit here till five. Just sitting in the chair, took my mask off, and not 30 seconds later after taking my mask off, I hear spit. Well, sure as heck, here, came, here comes a, a Tom, full run, at my decoy, at my Jake decoy. Came in about 10 yards to the right of me, had my gun on my lap. The Tom comes over, starts pecking on my Jake decoy, gives me uh, an opportunity to, to raise my gun. Once I had a good broadside shot, I took it. Just didn't, um, just shot a little low. I uh, was able to knock the bird down, and I just had to do a quick follow-up shot. It's always good to keep in the back of your head to uh, be sure to be ready for a follow-up shot. I'm very grateful for this opportunity, and gosh, these, these real grand, their feathers, these tail, tail feathers are just absolutely stunning. I love these blonde tips. I think these are the prettiest turkey in, in North America. I can't beat it. You know, coming from the Northeast, you know, we get the Eastern turkeys, you know, and they're a little bit darker colored and not as uh, colorful although they are beautiful birds it's just there's something about these the species of turkey that uh really uh intrigued me so it's a good good bird i think it's a two-year-old got a nice probably an eight inch beard um probably inch spurs heavy bird so before i cut off here I'll show you the gun so this is a beeman Beeman 1358. I just got this a few months back. I like the concept of the bull pup. It's more compact. You know, the barrel isn't sticking out of the blind. Uh, easier to uh, tow it around. It's a great gun. A little loud, but you know, it's uh, it is what it is on that in that aspect. But it is a uh, very it's a light gun. Beautiful stock. That magazine comes in handy. You know, you fill that up and you're ready to go for the day. It's just a great all-around gun. It's gonna be good for small game. Anything up to turkey. I mean, it, it did the trick for sure today. So it's gonna be great, and I'm excited to uh, to use it more. To the spot where I shot my first turkey of the season. We got the uh, Sam Yang uh, 909 45 cal with us. We're shooting 150 grain. It's called a button, a button top, uh, lead round. So I'm gonna try that and hopefully we get some luck. It's been it's been shooting good from anywhere between zero to 25 yards. So uh, that's the ideal range that I like to uh, hunt turkey. Alrighty, so we'll uh, get going. It's gonna take us about five minutes to get there and we'll see you out there. I just got set up. I'm about 50 yards from where I uh, I shot my first tom. It's freaking hot, it's 90 degrees. But I'm under uh, a big oak and uh, it's keeping me sort of shaded, but it's just, it's hot. So the gun's all ready to go. baby yes yes oh shit <laughs> I 
just put the crosshairs right on him real quick. I thought I thought he knew the gig was up. I just happened to look over. I did a couple of purrs and clocks. Just been sitting here. And this guy comes just strutting up. My gosh. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Well, patiently waiting again. Afternoon hunt paid off. I got my second real grand turkey for the California 2022 season. This thing is an absolute monster. And uh, I just happened to uh, do some clucks and purrs on the, on the slate call. About a minute or two later, I looked to the right and this thing was strutting right in the, uh, in the green road about I'd say 75 yards. He was uh, full strut. It's a beautiful real grand. And I tell you what, this is the biggest spur turkey I've ever, ever shot. I mean, this thing's got to be at least a uh, inch and a quarter. I mean, this thing is an absolute hook. Golly, this is a big bird. Nice long snoot on him. Nice beard. It's probably going to be another 10 inch beard. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful bird. And this Sam Yang 909 absolutely put a hammer on this bird. I hit him exactly where I was aiming and it was a quick shot. It was not a slow methodical shot at all. I think he knew the jig was up. Um, I thought he was gonna start putting away and I, right when I got the crosshairs on his head, I just, I pulled the trigger. 10 yards, 10 yard shot with a 45 caliber air rifle and this thing just set him on the ground flopping that was uh, another amazing hunt this is number two like I said here in California I got one more tag and it's uh, it's April the 8th so I have a few more weeks of the season I am just blessed and grateful for this opportunity it is absolutely magnificent I uh, I think I got some good camera footage as well for you guys so that uh, pretty much wraps it up we'll get this bird packed in the truck and uh, ready to go home.